A trip to the moon is not easy. First, the enormous gravitation of Earth has to be overcome. Then, hundreds of thousands of kilometers are waiting to be crossed, full of harsh darkness, the intense radiation of the sun, and extreme temperature changes. The part-time scientists, a private team of engineers, are working on mastering this journey and winning the Google Lunar X Prize. Audi is supporting them in the competition to build a lunar rover and send it to the moon to fulfill a number of tasks. In order to leave the Earth once and for all, the two moon rovers are loaded into a satellite launch vehicle. They are mounted into the top because this is the optimum position to survive the enormous forces during the launch. The Dnieper rocket launches with incredible thrust of 4,520 kilonewtons and speeds of up to 7.8 kilometers a second until it reaches the lower orbit at 300 kilometers. There, the service module is released. This part of the rocket will carry the moon rovers into space. To leave the Earth's gravity, the service module orbits our planet in ever-growing ellipses. Then it catapults away and starts its five-day-long journey to the moon at speeds of up to 10.5 kilometers a second. While the moon is often portrayed as being fairly close to Earth, it is, in fact, around 384,400 kilometers away. That's enough space to fit every other planet in the solar system between Earth and the Moon. The module carrying the two rovers approaches the Moon at high speed and enters its orbit at a precisely calculated angle. Once this task is completed, the spacecraft can prepare for the last part of the journey, the landing. The landing module separates from the service module and starts the critical landing process. The part-time scientists chose the landing site years ago, the Taurus Litro Valley near the Apollo 17 landing site, an area well known by scientists and lunar explorers. In science fiction movies, landers simply descend to the lunar surface, but in reality, the lander is still orbiting the moon at a speed of 1.7 kilometers a second until the final landing sequence is initiated. The landing is the most crucial part of the journey. While slowly descending, precisely calculated rocket thrusts slow the lander down as it approaches its final landing site. Once the lander has touched down safely, it detaches the two rovers, which bathe in sunlight first and then call home. Their journey to the moon took more than eight years of development, planning and engineering work. Now, the real mission can begin. But what will the rovers do on the moon and what are the challenges on Earth's ancient satellite? We'll explore this in more detail in our next episode.